Hello my friends, today I will show you how to get access on FTP server if uh, somebody gives you an all credentials, the host, username and password and you don't know what to do with them and you don't know how to get access on their server first of all, go and search for FileZilla FileZilla is a free software and it's very well known software it's more secure and it's for also for Mac Apple, uh, it's for Linux, it's also for Windows. In my case, I use Windows 7. So let's download FileZilla Client. Today, I will show you how to use FileZilla Client. But in the other video tutorial, I will show you how to create a server, how to create an FTP server to have your own FTP server and to give access to the others. But today, let's access the outside or external. FTP server. Download FileZilla client. Okay, download it here. So there's FileZilla Pro and there are some more um, companies included here and it's a very very good software. Also Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, um, uh, Microsoft Azure, Dropbox, Amazon S3, but let's use it for free. The first one, download it and save it. Here it is, RAM, agree. So I have installed the old one, but I'm just upgrading the FileZilla. Okay, start FileZilla right now. Here we are. So in the left side, you have your own computer and the right side is the server computer. But at the top here, you have host, username, password. So to get quick access, copy the host FTP server IP address, put it here. Also, username test, test and test is the password and quick connect. Here we are. Now I'm on the server. Here you can create a di directory, put the name test and here it is. We are on the server. If you want to upload a file here, let's upload a test file. Drag and drop here. Here it is, the file. And if you want to download it, just choose the directory on your own computer. In my case, let's use desktop. Okay. And just click download on the file. Okay, let's do the all right, and the file now is uh, downloaded successfully here. If you have any error here on the list, you go to settings here and go to FTP, and here you have active and passive mode. Be careful to be passive recommended, but if you are not able to connect to the server, try with active mode and click OK. This is the first thing you have to do if you if you get any error on connection. And after that, you have a lot of options here. If you want to transfer more than one download or upload, increase the number here. To transfer, put the number here. I use it 10 because my internet is very fast. Also, if you want to use a, a internet limiter, you have to go here to transfer and you have to enable speed limit and configure the speed limit. Put the speed limit here to download and upload and enjoy your downloading uploading files thank you guys for watching god bless you